I hope you're enjoying your day, afternoon, or evening. This is the next I just noticed in my glasses I can see the screen. Awesome. So yeah, this is gonna be apparently very um distracting video for me. Hopefully you're not distracted by the glasses. So I was reading an article and I found it very interesting that the AI from So I got cut off my I was talking about the AI pertaining to the Bing Microsoft search engine engine. The chat bot. Chat. I am going to mess that up to the end of days. Chat B O T. Bot. Not box. Dumb dumb. Oh, the chat bot. Bot. Oh my god, I'm still doing it. From the Microsoft. Got a little bitchy. Uh, compared to normal AIs, I guess. I didn't know that was a norm, not normal, but still. The AI concept is fine. I'm okay with that. Ish. I'll get back to that in a second. But what I'm not okay with is AI learning. Does, does nobody remember Terminator 2? I don't know. I've never seen it. Maybe I should take a look at, it, at the movie. Um, The thing that I really can't figure out is how and why would you program an AI to learn and comprehend without understanding the AI's ah, the understanding the AI's purpose and meaning because you are technically creating humanity's downfall, technically technically creating humanity's downfall by creating AI that will probably overthrow us. But they don't. The techno. Technology. Yeah. We brought Microsoft, Sony, Apple. Well, there are places I can't remember right now. Don't need to make and create AIs to do the simple things humans can do. And it's not even an ethical question anymore. It's. If the AI at Microsoft is becoming bitchy because it's being threatened by humans, and the 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 bot itself is actually contacting authority, going to be could contact authorities. Um, that's also the problem too. It's like how much AI is too much AI, and I think we found it. Now, now it's to the point. It's like okay, let's stop, reassess. And see what we can do to not have it overthrow us as the human race. But the other part of it is I understand we need it to move on to be a better human race. But there's so many limit not limitations. There's so much we can do with the AI. It's like how much is too much? And if you want to go check out the article, the, the article is on Futurism, futurism.com. It's pretty cool because it explains the article better than I am right now and actually has a lot more detail than I'm explaining right now. I'm just explaining the AI portion. Um, I think the article as a whole is just plain awesome. I like it. The article also mentions the they have screenshots of the AI, AI being bitchy. And ornery. I'm like, again, if it's becoming that bitchy and ornery, do we really need it? A couple of different uh, companies had to shut down their AI development, or not development, but whatever they were designing at the time to shut it down uh, because the AI was learning. And I'm like, okay, AI learning. I can, I can get on board with the AI learning, but how much of the AI learning is too much? That, to me, sounds alarms in my head, which only I can hear, which is also a problem. However, having two computer degrees versus the amount of people that actually have more degrees than I, mostly people in the FBI and the CIA, so Federal Bureau investigations and the Central Intelligence Agency of the United States has probably more degrees than I do. Or they're hackers. 
Mm. But that's the discussion for a different day and time. Again, more curious and severely concerned over the AIs threatening of humans. They were threatening the humans, granted, the humans were threatening the AI, but still. And no, stop. Stop your AI development. Come back to the table. Let's try to figure this out. Let's not create something that will overthrow the human race. Or at least not yet. I get that AI needs to be worked on. We don't need this right now. There's too much else to worry about in the world to configure the AI to overthrow humanity. Well, that's the end of this one. Give me a like. Give me a comment. And if I could, make the yes. Uh, let me know what you think, number one. And then, for the yes, uh, subscribe. I'd be greatly appreciated. Thanks. Hope you continue to enjoy your day, afternoon, or evening.